It was crazy. But anyway, I'll just give you guys a quick recap of what happened. So, previously on Don John's Picks. Welcome back. I know you can't believe it. Believe it. We enjoyed a good off season. Got lots of sailing in, of course. It was good, but I'm back and ready for season three, a brand new NFL season full of locks. A lot of change. The, the long locks are gone. And I think with that, we should get right into the first game of the NFL season. It's a new season here. Anything can happen. A lot of hype around the Bills. I'm back in the Bills. I, I love it. Minus two and a half. It's a great football number, you know. The total pick. I like the under, which might shock some people. I just think the defense will be back. I also like the Bills to uh, to beat this spread, minus two and a half. I think we got some points coming in this game. I'm back in the fact that this season opener will match the energy that I have going into this game, which is very high. So give me that over. Sunday night football. I like the Dallas Cowboys with the points, plus two and a half here at home against Tampa Bay. He's looking a little weird. He's looking a little old. Uh, I think, again, two and a half. I, I like that number. I like being on the minus side of it. And I'm taking the over action. Uh, I'm, I'm going over, over, over city in this first game. And Monday night, first Monday night of the season, we got the Denver Broncos with Russell Wilson in tow. Heading back to Seattle. Give me Denver minus six and a half again. A great number. I'm kind of basing... Week one, we, we're feeling it out. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of just going on good football numbers. Give me the over two, hammering overs. I think, you know, I think Denver can put up at least 30 on them. And mm -hmm. if Seattle, Seattle just puts up 14, then we're there. I'm, I'm with you on that over under, Donnie. You know, it's set pretty low at 44 here. And uh, it won't take much from Seattle because I think Russell Wilson is going to come out hot this season. I think he's going to be energized. In tow, in that, in, in that sense, they will also be, I think, just clobbering the Seahawks here at home. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sad Seahawks fans seeing their old boy just come and stomp all over them. I think we should start off with our captain taking us out to sea. That's right, folks. Anchors away indeed. We got Baker Mayfield on a new team, new start with, with Carolina Panthers minus one and a half at home. That is your anchor pick of the week, week one. Lock it in, baby. Just lock Donnie, as you mentioned, we've got so we've had we've been to the barber, we've been to the salon a couple times. Things are looking a little shorter. The locks are a little shorter, but are the locks still luscious? The locks are definitely luscious. They might not be quite as long, as wild, or unpredictable, but this, we're fine-tuning it in, folks, okay? It's the Chicago Bears plus seven at home. If you told me heading into Peyton this, I would be betting on the Bears. I would have shaved my own head Britney Spears style. Give me Bears plus seven, and that is the luscious lock of the week. Whew, feels good. Feels good, looks good. Can't wait to see how these picks go for this week one. 